Hey everybody, this is TFNA, and today I'm going to try to quickly go over some items that I have here that I use to basically make my uh, my Michael Myers from 1978. Um, this is the costume that I like to have, so especially around Halloween, if I go to a Halloween party, uh, I'll wear this. I made this last year, went to a Halloween party with this, and it was pretty fun. Uh, a couple things before we get started. I'll make this quick. Uh, I do apologize that I am making this pretty much towards the end of October because I wanted to make this earlier this month, but I was very busy with family and friends as well as work to where I just couldn't get it out until now. So I do apologize. It may be a little too late to try to find some of the items here if you want to do a last minute costume, but um, parties and conventions and whatnot are most likely right now still not happening just uh, because of, you know, ongoing things. Uh, so... Maybe you would like to come back eventually to this video and use some of the items here that I have to make your costume for next year or future events. If you have a post-Halloween costume party to go to, the convention you want to dress up as Michael with, who knows. Uh, one thing I do want to mention is, oh boy, this is very out of focus. This is basically my model that I use to come up with the ideas for this costume. This is the Mezco 112 Collective Michael Myers. If you were interested in this figure, I'm just going to let you know now, it is no longer available uh, available through Mezco's websites or other means unless it's third-party sellers like on eBay, which it is very expensive. This was usually an $80 figure. This is essentially a 6-inch figure with uh, cloth here, if you're not familiar with action figures. Um, yeah, this thing I used pretty much has my basis for how to do the costume. We have the mask, it's very straightforward. The jumpsuit, uh, just to show in the back there. Uh, it actually has a black t-shirt, which I didn't realize. And we had, do have green jungle boots, which I believe is accurate to the movie. So with that, uh, this model here and me wanting to be as accurate as possible, let's show you what I have. Now we have here this, uh, it's from Red Cap, I believe is the company. It is a navy blue jumpsuit i got this on amazon for about i don't know a little over 35 it could be a little under actually i don't remember but right now the unfortunately i'm a extra large and if you're an extra large as well i just checked there they don't have these available right now they may eventually be available in extra large but other sizes are available for about 35 bucks over there uh and with this one here it looks brighter in person just because of my camera settings right now but it is actually a little darker than I would like. Uh, I think when it comes to this right here, you can see, I mean, it's not gonna be perfect, I don't think, when it comes to the tone. But I think what makes this look a little bit brighter is that they added a little bit of slight dirt details to this. So if you wanted to have a little bit of dirt on here, uh, however you do fake dirt or whatnot on your uh, costumes, you could do that to make it look a little bit brighter. I don't know if there's a way to wash it to where it fades a little bit and it looks a little bit brighter, but, uh, I like it as is. It may not look navy right now in the camera because it's just the lighting in this room is really horrible, but it is a uh, very nice dark blue jumpsuit. Very straightforward. You could maybe even get some of these at like Goodwill or costume stores as well. I'd check Goodwill, honestly. Uh, this is a very basic black t-shirt I got when I went to Michael's one day. And these things are like three, four bucks. Whenever you walk in, they have a t-shirt section. Uh, in some of the middle of the aisles. Uh, yeah, again, three to four bucks, not bad at all. So if you don't have a plain black t-shirt, Michael's is a very good place to go. Or again, thrift stores. Um, a lot of the things that I wanted to find though weren't really at thrift stores. So I just went uh, to other stores as well as mostly Amazon. This I believe is what's called the Rothko. Um, jungle boots basically and i will leave everything i can find in the description below when it comes to the items i'm using but these here are green olive drab boots which i think are actually really it's kind of hard to tell just because i'm trying to get it in focus but i think are actually really accurate to what i wanted it may be some differences here and there with like the placement of the laces and whatnot but it's good enough 
Man, these are really nice. These, I need to check the price again. They are a little bit more expensive now on Amazon, but not by much to what I paid. I think I paid a little under $34 for these. Looking now, it's $36 on uh, Amazon. And I have a size 10, and these are wide size 10s. Uh, so this, these are good. And they're not super uncomfortable either. That was one thing I was uh, worried about. Some of the quality in certain areas does seem a little cheap, but I mean, I'm using this for a costume. I don't need to actually, you know, wear these for anything besides this costume. One thing I do want to mention is that these kind of smell terrible. They kind of smell like uh, a lot of rubber, a lot of like a tire almost. So uh, keep that in mind. You probably don't, if you buy these, you don't want to keep these out in the out in the open, maybe put them in a closet somewhere, maybe out in the garage if you have one to uh, basically air out. Last but not least, well, first of all, I like to wear longer socks with long boots like those that go up to your uh, high ankles and, uh, and whatnot. Uh, but last but not least, the mask. This is a pretty accurate mask too. A lot of the times you really can't find an accurate Michael Myers mask. But we have the Trick or Treat Studios mask here, which to me isn't super duper 100% accurate. It is very close. I'd say like 90%. Uh, if you go to their website or Big Bad Toy Store, which both links are down in the description below, uh, you can order this. And it is in stock at both of those websites. It's about 60 bucks. That's not including any shipping. Uh, sometimes you can find these at Spirit Halloween stores if these are still open. Um, you know, by the time you hopefully eventually watch this video, which I don't know how late they are open past Halloween, but if they have really nice deals, uh, like 50% off whenever you go there and you maybe find one of these masks, there you go. But at Spirit Halloween for normal retail, it's 70 bucks instead of 60. So this is a, the most expensive part of the, uh, the outfit. It is almost the same amount as every, the rest of the items combined. Like, that's about 75 when you, when you think about it. The shirt, jumpsuit, and the, uh, the boots. So this is a $60 mask. I will say, though, it is, I do think, I've had it for over a year, and it's, I think, worth the 60 bucks. It may be as much as a actual costume that you can get at Spirit Halloween or Party City and whatnot, but from what I've seen, a lot of masks that you know, art the Trick or Treat Studios version aren't super accurate and they just don't look very good. So this one here, I'm very happy with. The only problem is that it's a latex mask. Sometimes I react funny to latex, which is kind of weird. As long as it's on my face, I kind of act up and whatnot. I don't know if I have an allergy, but one thing, there's some cardboard here. One thing that does make it a little bit better if I can try to find it is I also got this, uh, morph suit mask and this is actually the company rubies which i think a lot of our costumes that a lot of people buy that's the company that they go through this was an eight dollar mask uh which you could probably find something cheaper if it wasn't rubies or who knows uh just cheaper options of pretty much skin type black masks to go on here the reason why i got this is because when you wear this and i'll put this on later in a little bit uh, when you wear this, it's really close to your eyes. And a lot of the time in the movies, you used to only see the black of his eyes or just a completely blacked out area where the eyes are. This helps with that. It, first of all, it will restrict your visibility a little bit, but generally you'll be able to see out of it. And, um, it really helps with making sure his eyes go black. So that way you don't see the eyes. Sometimes you do see the eyes in the movies, but I like it when it's just a black shape in his eyes. So that's all the items, everything here. So uh, yeah, I'm trying to focus up on this. Without further ado, I'm just gonna go ahead and wear this and show you what I look like in the mirror wearing this. Before we move on, I had finished the video initially and forgot to show off what the mask looks like without any kind of black fabric piece underneath. So that way you're seeing the eyes through the whole eyes. You can see here, you know, you could see out of it, but I think it looks kind of weird and I just like the whole blacked out eyes more. So the rest of the video, I'm just showing what I look like with the uh, 
mask and the black dot eye. So here we go. Okay, so here this is. Before I talk with this thing on, I'm just going to do, you know, showing off what I look like in the mirror real quick. As well as panning down, kind of showing you what the bottom here looks like with the shoes, the boots. Okay, you probably don't want to hear me talking through this mask the whole time. I'm probably going to have problems breathing. But as you can see, first of all, look at my eyes. You really can't tell anything. Just like the movie. So that's cool. Let's take this off. Uh, big problem mostly... Boy, I look a little scary right now. So the biggest problem that you're going to have with this mask... Two things. The hair is very big. I don't know if there's a way to properly fix it to where it looks smaller. The hair is the biggest problem I have with the mask. It, it's kind of all over the place. It's really big in certain areas. There's some weird gunk in some of the hair that's been there ever since I bought it. And this was wrapped in plastic from the company. I bought this on Big Bad Toy Store and they didn't do anything. They, uh, you know, they got it from the company and then they shipped it. So that's not really a problem on Big Bad Toy Store. There may have been an issue on Trick or Treat Studios end. You could probably get this out easily if you have yet to do so. But if you were to pull on this hair a little too much, there is a possibility that it just rips off. So yeah, again, parts are really big and I don't really know how to pat it down properly. So there's also, it's not really that big of a deal, but there is a little bit of some weird gunk on the actual face. Some of the details aren't the greatest, honestly. It's cool that we do have an ear hole there in case uh, you know, you need to breathe out in an additional way. We have holes here on the nose and the mouth as well as in the eyes, of course. You could also do this if you wanted to have like a fake, uh, whatever that sewing needle was, um, whatever the thing that you, they, uh, remember when he got stabbed like towards the neck? That really wasn't the area though. It was around here. I think the Halloween 2 version for Trigger, uh, Trigger Treat Studios, that mask has a fake hole right there. So, uh, yeah, this mask again is, it's all right. It is good enough and it's one of the more accurate masks that you're gonna get out there. It does have a couple problems though. And the only other big problem if you saw earlier is that the neck is very wide. I don't know if there's a way for me to eventually close it off to look like it's a little bit, you know, more tight, but it lo just looks really big around the neck. If you, again, if you saw earlier. I would recommend going back. This works out perfectly though. It doesn't really restrict breathing at all. Um, the mask doesn't res restrict breathing either. So, and I was able to see out this pretty pretty well. I would definitely not walk a very long distance wearing this mask, this one and this one. Your peripheral vision will be messed up with this, just a heads up. But, you know, you are walking to the party without the mask on, put the mask on at the party, you're gonna be fine. Everything else about this costume I like a lot. I'll try to focus back up again because this is actually giving me a lot of problems when it's focusing. Um, I like the jumpsuit, it's comfortable. Uh, again, maybe a little bit dark. It doesn't look that dark right now because of how I have my camera settings, but um, I, it's comfortable. I can keep the collar pop just like it was in the movie. It has adjustable areas where you, know, you can take it off a lot easier when you unbutton here. I think there's only one button here only one button around here. Um, putting it on is relatively straightforward. You know, you have to put it on slightly backwards, which is how, you know, jumpsuit like these, uh, jumpsuits like this work. Um, it's a little weird, but it's, it takes no time at all, basically putting this on. I did not tie up the shoes yet because they just take forever to get on and off when you're tying them and this thing is in the way. So I have them slightly tucked in right now, but they look fine. Uh, they are pretty loud, just a heads up. And if this isn't a super comfortable option for you, you could always get just comfortable black, all black shoes. I have a pair of all black Skechers that I'll wear sometimes if these are just not doing it for me. But other than that, pretty straightforward costume tutorial. You may have to do some additional stuff to the costume and maybe some few alterations here and there, depending on what version you're doing or what resources you have uh, available. But this is basically how you do a, a Michael Myers 
Again, the most expensive thing here, I mean, combined, the other items are pretty expensive, but the expensive single item is probably going to be this. Let's keep that in mind. If you need all any of the items at all that I uh, showed off, I'll leave links down in the description below. Thank you guys very much for watching. I really hope this helps if you guys are thinking about making a Michael Myers costume. Uh, I'll eventually like to do more costume tutorials. I don't really have many ideas, but eventually I like to do a couple more and whatnot. But this was special for Halloween, so happy Halloween. I have another Halloween video coming out after this one. Thank you guys very much for watching. Leave your comments down below and whatnot, and I'll see you guys later.